Well, maybe we go around the race of animal. I don't know, fellas, but um, let's put it on general focus. Just in case. Oh, get me a little standard uh, pair of lights on here. So we've got, had 700 of poly because we think poly more poly than perlite, but that could be wrong for this. Okay, that's about it. Put it in there. Now, question is, oh, we let's fill this up only halfway. Yeah, okay. So is, is the idea we just wet the perlite? Not. It should be round the other way, fellas. But then again, we'll bring in the sand. From what we learned of that one over there, I think we're going to have to add the full 200 mil. This is the container to the top one, actually. Okay, 200. See how that goes. That is weird, fellas. Look at the look at the volume difference. Well, I suppose the polystyrene is incompressible to a certain extent, but still. No, fellas, I think we're going to have to do a lot more work on these ratios, fellas. That was just so, isn't it? Almost like we're heading into new, with all our experience and knowledge over there, it still looks like we're heading into new territory. Who would have thunk it? Let's see what happens when we had a bit, bit more, the same amount of water as we had before. There we go. Yeah, that goes. make any difference. So now we've got the same amount of water as in that other container. As far as we know. I can't believe that. I cannot believe it's the same amount of sand. You saw me you saw me measure it out. The old 600 and the old up to the top. I mean, if this thing is accurate, it's not even. Yeah, hang on. One, two, yeah, there we go. Thousand, one thousand one hundred up to the. Yeah, exactly. It measures. So, um, mm, interesting. So, do you think that's enough polystyrene in the sand to generate enough reductive flammable gas to keep the organism in a reductive state and growing in there in the red form rather than the green? So when it's red you can see it, when it's green you think it's just either pro 